Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolena TV. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, let's head over to the statement that uh, Rigadi Gachagua issued. This beef between Rigadi Gachagua and Ruto is quite different. Mimi Nambi Awa! Mimi Nambi Awa! Is a Rakari to the na of sana. Na ile chama yetu ya UDA iko na president na deputy president na sisi tulishauriwa tikiti moja mimi hapana rais alinipatia kasi ni nyinyi si ndio ni nyinyi ama si nyinyi sisi tunasema kama hamutaki regadi gashagua sasa si UDA takwisha with Ruto and Uhuru's case you realize that Ruto did frequently mention Uhuru's name but in this particular instance Rigadi has decided to hold the bull by the horn and going by the video that I'll share uh, sh shortly ladies and gentlemen Rigadi is telling William Ruto that they formed UDA jointly and that should he be impeached then UDA will die now, that is the message that Rigadi Gachagua has just unveiled or rather revealed to William Samoy Ruto. So I wanted to stay with me on this ladies and gentlemen because the latest development is pointed to a, a turn of, of event whereby looks like there is no way this uh, division or this relationship between Ruto and uh, Rugadi Gachago will be repaired. The, now before I share this video please I wanted to do me one favor and like this video. It's so important if you like this video because that is the only way YouTube shares our content. Subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed before and to existing subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. So now let's listen in to what Rigadi Gachagua told William Samoy Ruto. Eh? Wananiuzia uoga. Si wananiuzia uoga. Mimi naambia hawa. Mimi naambia hawa. Hii serikali tulipata na shida mingi sana. Na ile chama yetu ya UDA iko na president na deputy president. Na sisi tulishauriwa tikiti moja. Mimi hapana rais alinipatia kasi ni nyinyi. Si ndio? Ni nyinyi ama si nyinyi? Sisi tunasema kama hamutaki regadi gashagua sasa si UDA takwisha. Itakwisha au itakwisha? Sasa mimi nauliza wale wanapanga jama pale. Rais wetu na kuomba. Hii serikali usiharibu. Hii serikali tulipata pamoja. Hii serikali wacha tutebee pamoja. Wacha tukafanye kazi miaka tatu ile imebaki. Hapo mbele kama uko na maneno ingine unaweza amua. Lakini kwa saa hii mimi nilipewa kura na hii watu ya Kenya. Si kwa namna hiyo? Wangapi wanasema regadi kashagua alichaguliwa na wakenya, alichaguliwa na wakenya? Sindio? Sindio? Tukisema harambe, mudasema usikuse mulima. Harambe! 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 Now, honestly speaking, from the words of regadi kashagua, one, UDA will not go beyond 2027. 20, Two, most likely William Ruto and Rigadi Gachago will not be on the same ballot paper in 2027. Those are things that uh, I can assure you, assure you of based on the statement that uh, came from uh, Rigadi Gachago. There's also something here, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, I am very sure of based on this statement that going for, forward ruto will not assign regadi gachagua any task most likely those tasks which were supposed to be assigned to regadi gachagua will be assigned to someone else let's say for example catholic indiki because when i was talking to someone the, the, the moment i realized that there was some that some some information surfaced that uh it, there was a challenge about who is supposed to present the motion to have regadi gachagua impeached because Mind you, based on the statements or based on information online is that the signatures have already been collected, more than 200. 
signatures. There's already motive to have Rigathi the Gachago impeached, but there is nobody has agreed to forward that motion for it to be debated upon and uh, the whole process be done. What we know is that Didmas Baraza, he had indicated that he would front the motion, but as at 6 p.m. in the evening, nobody had come out and said that he will be the one to present the motion. Then also, stay still on this thing which is making Rigathi Gachago maybe be that agitated or be that enthusiastic that nobody can attempt to impeach him. It's because if the law requires that the, 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 the nomination of a running mate be done before the election, so that when a ticket is presented to the IBC, it's joint ticket. The deputy pres the, the, the running mate and the and the presidential flag bearer. If that is the way, it's normally done. Probably that explains why Rigathi Gachago keeps saying that you are the ones who elected me. He keeps using that narrative because he knows very well that he was not appointed. It is far much different from the way Moi used to appoint people like Saitoti, Mike Baki. Back then, he could appoint uh, uh, vice presidents and then he could fire them. This same round is not possible. The constitution of 2010 guaranteed security of tenure for the deputy president. So the deputy president cannot be fired by the president. And also, looking at this matter, uh, I'm asking myself, if they attempt to impeach Rigathi Gachago, how will, Rigathi, how will the next deputy president come on board? Will it be via votes? I mean, it's like, is, 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 there, is there going to be some kind of election? Because it is through that joint ticket. And that explains why I think that this issue of uh, impeachment, maybe it's just a way to create confusion in the country so that those deals, you know, those deals, the, 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 the JKIA, you know, the Shah, can actually be done behind the scene. But the impeachment motion is just a creation of these people to bring about confusion. Personally, I think that is the reason why Rigad Gachagua knows very well that William Ruto cannot fire him. And that's why he has said that he was not appointed. He was elected by the people of the Republic of Kenya. That explains why Rigad Gachagua used that statement. So he knows <laughs> that Ruto cannot fire him. So I think that is now where it becomes interesting because you remember that is what uh, was that uh, that is what Uhuru con was confronted with uh, dealing with Ruto. He could not fire Ruto. So what he did is just allowed Ruto to campaign, but he made sure that uh, some of those roles were that were supposed to be uh, done by Ruto, those roles were given to Matiangi. So Matiangi is the person who used to do most majority of the things. Part of the reason is that. Matiangi was the most favored. And uh, so that's why you find that there's this issue of Tanga Tanga. It came about because Ruto was just traversing the country campaigning, whereas his duties were done by Matiangi, who was the chief minister. So, ladies and gentlemen, based on the statement that came from Rigadi Gachago, what can you say based on that? Do you think there is still, this political marriage still exists? Regard is telling William Bruto, allow me to work until 2027, and then thereafter you can make your own decision. So in other words, what Regard is trying to tell William Bruto is that let's just complete this one term. But they have to tutamua. So tutamua aspect. This is a message that has already been sent to William Bruto. And most likely, Bruto will have to figure out a way of dealing with Regard. But Kenyans are saying that Ruth on Rigadi, Ruth on Rigadi, they should all go. I mean, that is the, the position. Kenyans are saying both of them should just go. It's not only Rigadi Gachago. So there is going to be some political confusion in 2027. Right now, personally, I think this impeachment motion, Haidafanyika. There will be some a lot of legal hurdle. Because then how, if you impeach Rigadi Gachago, how will you uh, bring another deputy president? How? Because you, because you can't appoint. It's not like a ministry where you appoint or you nominate and is grilled. It's not that kind of, uh, that's not the way it's done. Unless they change the law and allow this appoint uh, deputy president to be appointed and fired. Appointed and fired. Or maybe appointed, but the process of firing be, be made a little bit difficult. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to raise my case here. But just go below in your comment section. You can offer a reaction on this statement coming from Rigadi Gachago. So, until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.